The Catholic Church states, and the whole tradition of the Church states, that the Catholic Church is the only one that, it, that has all four marks, right? It's one holy Catholic and apostolic. It's the only one that has that. In fact, the authors pointed out um, between 1870 and about 1930, because there was a lot of ecclesiology done then because they had just come out of the First Vatican Council in relationship to the definition of um, papal infallibility, etc. So there was a lot of discussion during that time. And what they pointed out is that the Catholic Church is the only one that has any of the marks in, in their fullness, any of them in their fullness. Okay. So what is, why is this important? Well, there was a man by the name of Charles Jornet who actually quoted another author in, the, in piecing this together, but there was a man named Charles Jornet in a book called The Church of the Word Incarnate. And in that book, he talks about how Aristotle says there's four causes of a thing. The first is the material cause. That's the thing out of which you make something. So bronze, so the bronze, or let's take the, 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 uh, the uh, crucifix of our Lord, the silver is that from which the body, his body is formed out of. So it's the silver is the material cause. The formal cause is the shape or the thing that you give, the structure you give to it. So it's actually the form of Christ's body in that uh, silver makes it uh, Christ's body. Okay. Then the efficient cause is the thing that brings it into existence. Right. So the artisan is the one who fashioned it, and so he's the one who brought that form into existence in the matter. The final cause is why did he do it? Well, he's just trying to support himself. Or maybe he loves Christ and he just wants to do a beautiful picture for, or make a beautiful uh, sculpture for Christ. When we look at the four marks of the church, we discover that they line out with the four causes. The, the uh, material cause, that out of which the church is made, is the Catholicity. It's all races throughout the world. Those are the, pe the, it's the people out of which the church is made. The formal cause is the unicity of the church because it's through actually the, pa the, uh, the papacy, which is the principle of unity, the principle of unity, which um, they uh, defined it at uh, Vatican I. The, pa the principle of the papacy is what unifies the church under a single head, and so it's the, what gives it form in a certain sense. Then the efficient cause is the apostolicity because it's through the, apo the apostolicity, through the bishops and the priests, that people are baptized and brought into the church, and so it's what gives the church existence in that sense. The, second, the, the final cause is the holiness. That's why he made the church. He made the church to make us all holy. All right. Why is that discussion even relevant? It's relevant for this point. Charles Jornet points out in the discussion of these four causes, he points out that God, in causing the, a, a thing, always acts as an integral cause. What does that mean? It means that whenever God is the direct cause of the existence of a thing, there is never anything lacking in the perfection of that thing when it's finished. The only time, St. Thomas says, that there is a defect introduced into the, uh, the bringing of a thing into existence is when secondary causes get involved, right? So in other words, us human beings, it's when we get involved that things go bad, right? If we just let God do it, things would be fine, okay? In relationship to the Catholic Church, because God is the direct cause of the Catholic Church, that's why it's the only Catholic Church, the only religion, the only church that has God as an integral cause. All other churches, all other religions do not have God as their sole cause. They have men. Martin Luther, Henry VIII, Muhammad, all these guys were guys who introduced defect into their religion. The Catholic Church is the only one because it has Jesus Christ as its founder. You can even ask Google for that. It'll actually ask who's the founder of the Catholic Church and it says Jesus Christ. All right. 